Hello and welcome to Feral Plays Tropico on iPhone. I'm your host Sam and with me is Hannah from our design team. Hello. So we're going to jump straight into it. So this is Tropico on iPhone. So this is where you play as a dictator of an island nation in the Cold War era and it is your job to dictate your way through to success. So that can mean dealing with any kind of challenges that you come across in, from not enough food population to full-scale rebellions. So. What are we up to, Hannah? Well, at the moment, we're uh, generating an island. Um, so just making our own one, and as you change the um, sliders, it will change the difficulty of the island. Nice. There's also a campaign mode as well uh, that's available, yes. um, which we showed off on the iPad version. So feel free to check that out and see how that plays out as well. Um, here, I've created a character already. Uh, Oh, very Looking nice. <laughs> <laughs> Looking the part as always, very dapper. Um, and I've created some. Uh, it's got some interesting qualities there. Yes. Swiss banking prohibited. Ooh. So, um, That's going to be an interesting some... one. It's always fun if you click the random button. You never know what you're going to get, and it always makes it very uh, interesting when yeah. you get into a level. Oh, so. he's ugly as well. Oh, oh <laughs> An ugly brutal. jeep skit. <laughs> he's already, he's going to already be popular there. Isn't he? like, that's, that's, that's the instant start. Basically, let's go and uh, select a citizen. And then we'll go to the politics tab, and then you click this little eye icon, and then he'll now be in the watch list. There you go. He's in there. So if we, we can tap on the name and it will go to that person's location. Um, if we tap on it again, it will show their uh, descriptions and their actual citizen panel. Okay, cool. So you can get a lot of detail from those individual citizens. It's quite nice to be able to have them on a, on a watch list as well. In a, yeah. in a non-dictator evil kind of way, so that you can you can view sort of progress of certain citizens if you want to, rather than yeah, know, especially if they decide to rebel against you and you have to um, you know, remove them. <laughs> Take methods of <laughs> controlling. <laughs> yes, <laughs> depends on the kind of person you want to be. <laughs> Quietly subside them. <laughs> <laughs> Silence. <laughs> Um, also in this uh, watch list, if you've got a, a few people going on, they'll be ordered by, like, if you've got an election opponent, they'll be quite handy to watch in there. Oh, okay, cool. Um, faction leaders will like, also be handy, um, and then anyone else will be ordered underneath um, alphabetical by surname. Um, that's, quite, that's quite nice as well, it gives you a lot, yeah. of, like, it gives you a lot of, kind of overview of how things are going in terms of like the lead especially especially like election leaders and things yeah. like that you you want to kind of be keeping an eye on those people so yeah it's a quick and easy way of uh keeping watch on them all at all times yeah not in a weird creepy way <laughs> 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 one more feature we've added for the iphone and ipad release is an item called screenshot mode um, you can activate it in the options menu Then, if you double tap with two fingers, all the UI will go away. Very nice. So, if you're one for making beauty shots, this is kind of for you. <laughs> um, and same again, if you double tap with two fingers, the UI comes back. So, easy enough to use, and if you don't want it, there's at least a, a toggle there for you to turn it on and off. So, the freedom of choice. So, one thing we added, um, on the both the iPad and the iPhone version um, was we've added some new overlays um, basically if you go into the tab of the overlays panel we've got ones for healthcare which will show you if, um, all your health buildings which currently we don't have any clinics or anything like that of the sort um, food production so it shows which farms are existing, I guess. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and like things like fishermen's wharfs and uh, ranches and things like okay, that. Okay, cool. Um, oh. We've also got one for food consumption, so it shows 
places where people where are, they are consuming. eating the food. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so predictably, it's houses. Um, and then we've also got ones for religion as well, which, well, we don't have any churches, but we can fix that. Um, let's build a church. Which tab it is? Let's see. Uh, uh, um, overlays we've added. Um, in the services tab, we've got ones for entertainment. So if we had built that uh, restaurant, it would appear here. Um, and also transport, which is very useful. At the moment, we don't have any garages. So I'm going to build a garage and it will cause exactly um, detail. I feel, I feel the people of this island will appreciate your generosity in giving them something for, like, for them to drive their cars with, so... Yeah, yeah. everyone needs cars. Yeah. <laughs> There's a garage there. Um, and if we tap on it, on this screen, I'm just going to speed it up a little bit since we've got all the money from uh, God Mod. That'll be built instantly. That's pretty yeah. handy. So, yeah. yeah. So, uh, so, am I right in thinking it's double the cost? Yes, it is. Yeah, so you basically put the money down to build it, <laughs> and then you've paid again to the same amount to, build, to uh, get it built instantly. But it's one of those things that, if, especially if you say it's like food production or something, you're in, and you're in a jam, you really yeah. need it, then it's definitely worth the short-term cost in, to, to get the long-term benefit out of it. Um, but also, uh, with garages, you have to be careful about where you place them as well mm -hmm. to ensure that, the making sure that people can get from one part of the island to the other, um, which makes a which makes a big difference. Yeah. Because um, if your garages are too far away, people will walk, uh, or they will start building shanty towns around the uh, around the areas, um, which which you don't really want because that just helps make people miserable. Yeah, it's pretty much like uh, the basics of this game is like if there's a shack somewhere, build a house there. Yeah. And <laughs> destroy make sure destroy all shacks. Shacks yes. are bad. <laughs> you can build on top of shacks, just do it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and also like building garages so yes, they can walk to them from their house and then drive to their job. So having one next to a place of work and the uh, housing estate is the best thing you can do, like as basic score of this game. Um, so now we've got that. Um, I'll see now that the... Um, Transport overlay has got this handy uh, circle thing going on. So the green is um, the immediate range around where the garage is. Okay. Um, which is ideally what you want to aim for. Um, yellow's slightly out of that. That's still okay. It's still somewhat within walking range, but it can be a bit of a drag. Red is like they're walking for miles, like, and you'll waste like days of production because they're too busy walking to the job. Right. Okay. Walking to the garage to get to the job. And then okay. Cool. To walk so, home. so it factors into the the production and like getting like food production and like resources yeah. production like is it's a like, big thing. So you really want to think about where that transport is and yeah. Yeah. And that's what I really like about this overview is you kind of see where the things are that you can improve on without you necessarily need like without you realizing it and you can go oh okay well I just need to build a couple more garages like here here and here and then I I know exactly. You know, I know that everyone's going to be able to get to their jobs pretty, yeah. pretty quickly and not have to worry too much. Not spending like 24 hours walking to the job and then just to turn around again and, and then go back, back home. Again, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's having uh, garages <laughs> like super important. Um, what else we got? Uh, we also added a couple of. Oh no, it's uh, only one uh, new overlay in this one, which is the education one. Okay. So it shows you like the colleges and uh, high schools in uh, the island if you've got them, which again, I don't at the moment. Which, funnily enough, we are getting a notification that we should uh, make one. Ah, oh, well, so, sunny that. <laughs> how about we do that then? Um, so, if we go. Because you want everyone to be like educated nearby. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, we've got you on there. 
What else have we got? Oh, there you go. Okay. I know. What are you protesting about? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes for thoughts ah, help. They Sometimes they don't. Yeah. <laughs> it's... It's one of those things. I think I actually tapped on the person who wasn't protesting, yeah. so that's my bad. So another thing that's handy is uh, along the top there, you've got um, like the message bars yeah, coming across. Yeah, So one of those was actually a uh, healthcare demand. So oh. That may indicate where we where we need to be when oh, the, in yes. the next uh, in the next what 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 they're protesting about. So it's quite a handy it's quite a handy tool there. Yes, certainly, because it just puts it right in front of your face. You can't miss it. <laughs> Um, so, let's build a clinic then, since people are wanting one. Uh, where would be a good place? There we go. Right. So, people should be a little bit happier when they get built. Right. So, um, I think we should do what the uh, recommended thing says. And build a restaurant. Everybody likes a nice restaurant. Everyone loves food. Yeah, exactly. Can't argue with that. I mean, no, it's, exactly. It's food. It's the best. Destroy a shack for it. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Get rid of a shack, build a restaurant. Totally worth it. Right. So, we've got some entertainment going on, we've got some healthcare, we've got some education. And we've got our church, so we've got religion covered. Uh, I think we need to build some more farms, so I'm going to push this out here. So we've got a bit more road work <laughs> yeah, yeah. to build more garages <laughs> and more housing because <laughs> you can't have enough. Um, and then let's go, let's build a ranch. We'll see that the uh, bright green areas are what we need for the ranch. Um, and what I'll do is just put over here. While some of our comrades are busy fighting the injustice around the world, the rest of us are fortunate to be living on such a beautiful island. Lady Daft putting it next to the logging camp, but... That's fine. The cows may sort of wander into the logging camp and just get turned into logs, but that's all good for the restaurant, so it's, it's all good. It all works out. It's, all of it works out. That's, that's the key thing, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> oh no, all the cows have just been turned into sausages. Never mind, it's fine. Not a problem. I mean, who knows? They could work there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every cow needs a job. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point, actually. Give them yeah. chainsaws. Who knows what would happen? <laughs> <laughs> um, we should also just build a marketplace just so our little uh, minions find, find somewhere easier to go and eat or collect their food. Probably uh, do a couple of edicts as well. Yeah, that'd be nice. Mm. Give some... Give some Genuine dictatorship. Yeah. Yeah. So, let's see what we can do. Could do some social. I think one of the nicest things about this is is you have the you have a real choice of like whether you want to be a good person or a bad person in this. Yes. You have a real kind of good or evil side to it, so you can do some really really nice things and really help your people. They may not appreciate it. But you can do you you can try and do your best by them, or you can go the complete opposite route and yep. just absolutely just make their lives miserable. I mean, <laughs> they definitely will turn against you at some point, but you know, you you've got a bit you've got a you know that's coming, so you can kind of manage that a bit better. But Yeah. If you have a fun in the uh, progress, so why not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, since we've got the uh, high school, I think we should uh, probably turn on the literacy program just to make them read faster yeah no, that's a good faster. shout yeah so whenever we get stuff like um like for soldiers and, and uh like well more school teachers they all ha need high school education so getting them that e education faster is always good so uh, and there we go 
like that there was also wiretapping there as well. <laughs> it was literally like wiretapping and bribe faction leaders. So you can really you can really go as you can go as dark and dark yeah. and twisted as you like on that one. So but you've also got sensitivity training as well. So you could be yeah. a you could have like a really dark evil organization. It's really nice on the outside, <laughs> like really gentle and kind, but on the inside they're all like corrupt and like villainous. Or if you uh, really want to go somewhere. Have some uh, martial, martial law. law. Oh, yeah. And make all the liberty go away. <laughs> <laughs> all of his. Uh... Oh, ideology book. Mm. That's always That's fun. Yeah. Really annoy the intellectuals. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, National Day is nice. Fireworks everywhere. Yeah. I mean that's that's quite a good one because you get the like a, a lot of these edicts seem to have um, like that that seems like quite a nice one because it doesn't seem to be a, a downside necessarily. Yeah, to there's it. not so much the negative connotations of it. Whereas like, like the ideology book is like you'll get more loyalists backing you, but actually the intellectuals won't like you for it either. So it's sort of yeah, it's it's the things that if you know that you're you've got an election coming up and you and you know that there aren't many loyalists backing you, but you know the intellectuals are, are definitely on your side, then you could probably get away with getting that ideology book out there just just in time for the election just to just to help balance the odds a bit so yeah things like that like you want to save us some of the um edicts for like when elections go up so things like the ideology book the perfect for that there's also the um paypal visit uh, which is great for if the uh religious are not too friendly with you when it comes to election time so paypal visit them and tell them off yeah no, that's a good <laughs> shout yeah <laughs> then they'll uh, get all your votes. We've got some alerts now. So, oh, we've got an iron deposit that needs mining. Oh, we should probably do that. Um, where are you? Easier to see with a little mini map. There we go. So on things like this, we've got the um, overlay to say, like the red is where the deposit is. The green is where you should put the mine. Right, okay. Um, and the yellow around it is like, I mean, you can put the mine there if you want, but not, I wouldn't You're advise not gonna it. You're not going to get anything for it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just not really advisable doing that. So the green area is where you want to do it, but the red, if you pop something on there, it's not going to mine as efficiently. You're not going to get all the resource because it's in the way. <laughs> so let's build one of them. We've got two iron deposits. It's like you're facing the town, which will make building a road to it easier. I suppose this is where it becomes a real challenge is where you're now trying to build the road towards the mine so it becomes yeah a, you, this is where it's you can be quite creative with the road structure with how you with how you build it but also you want it to be effectively as efficient as possible especially yeah. if, if unlike in this mode where you're you're not on a tight budget if you're you know struggling a bit you you want to make sure that you're building the roads as efficiently as possible to make sure that you maximize the space yes exactly We should probably build some garages since I was taking such a point about that. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, we've got we're building these. We've got the uh, snap to rod. So once you get close enough, it'll oh, that's just very nice. Ping yeah. on there. I like that. That is very very handy. Oh, they're just complaining about the mines. So since there's only a handful of them, yeah. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It doesn't matter. 
We can exactly. just keep digging. It's 1955. We can keep digging. It doesn't matter. Exactly. Global warming doesn't exist yet, so it's fine. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> There's no childhood museum. Uh, oh, so he, he he was a pop singer. Yeah. That that was a plus. So he was a pop singer, but he was ugly. He was an, an ugly, ugly pop, pop singer. singer. With no childhood <laughs> museum. <laughs> Well, I guess we've got to build the museum. I can see why the relations aren't doing so well at the moment. It's yeah. Right. <laughs> it's like, we like listening to your music. We can't stand seeing yeah. you live. He's got a fantastic face for radio. Like, that's yes. what it is. Yeah, he's got a really <laughs> exactly good, that. That's all it is, yeah. That's, that's it. That, that's, where he need, that's where his strength is. <laughs> right, so I think we should appease them and build this museum then. Let's make them all friendly. So... Where is it? There we are. Keeping it near the immigration office and the cathedral. So as soon as you arrive, you can see how much he appreciates God. But also... Himself. <laughs> himself. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, God's great and all, but, but El Presidente. There's also this other place over here that's dedicated to me. <laughs> that, now that you've got to see. <laughs> Why not both? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else do we need? Well, I forgot tourists. I guess we need a hotel as well. be easily accessible. Yeah. And you want the tourists to think that it's a it's a you know, it's a happy place. Exactly. That your citizens want to be there. Because they do. Never leave. <laughs> there we go. Get walls constructed. So we've also got the uh, occupancy on here for the hotel as well. It'll uh, change the fee dynamically. To, uh, oh, that's pretty handy. Make sure it's always filled at all times. Cool. So now let's build that marina that people are more. should make the um oh, see if it was complaining about it much happier let's add some free housing since we're nice and all and totally not being horrible people um, you're choosing the nice dictator Ruben. That's, yeah that's i'm normally a nice person <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good that you're playing it, and not me, because I, I take, I take the, the very opposite stance on that, and I'm, I'm very much oppress the people as much as possible. Just assassinate anyone who yeah. dares. Yeah, I mean that that edict about shooting the DJ. Yeah, done, sorted. Just as soon as it's, as soon as I can get to it, just do it. Done. That's it. <laughs> not not because not because I don't enjoy him, but just because it's an evil thing to do. So it's like just be evil. That he'd just build like loads of army and uh, just do the martial law. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, make, it makes more sense then. You, you feel, I feel safer then. <laughs> as, as a dictator, I feel much safer. <laughs> just all the army, all of the time. Yeah. <laughs> what, we can't uh, see if we can be super friendly with any particular side yet. Because, yeah, you've got to try and also strike the balance between the US and the USSR. Because they can invade your waters, and you don't really want that. Yeah. <laughs> if they start getting too unfriendly and start edging close to our island. Yeah. Um, 
can get the Inquisition involved, which is quite handy. Because <laughs> I don't think anybody expects the Spanish Inquisition, so... <laughs> you took the words out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Balloon ride. That's going to be super fun. Only the best for the tourists. Exactly. <laughs> Everyone else, nah, not so much. For the tourists, now they get some first class yeah. stuff. Yeah, they get the balloon rides. Yeah. The tropicans do not. No. <laughs> Although to even it out, maybe I should build a pub. Because everyone likes pubs. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. This one's for the tropican people. Have your pub. That. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you can go and drink your sorrows away whilst all the tourists get the balloon ride. <laughs> am, I, am I in the mood to annoy some people? To annoy some people. You've got just enough to do martial law right now, so you know, I'm just, hmm. just throwing it out there. There's, you know, there's some options for you. Yeah, let's, I'm just going to pay attention to Sam now. <laughs> play evil. Do you like to have fun I like the I like the conscription idea as well. That's that's a good one. The conscription well, we idea should be fun. Army base. It's quite nice as well because you start off with not like not everything unlocked, but as you go through and you put more time in and the more things you build you actually start unlocking those things as you go along and it gives you yeah. more advanced stuff to work with so it's eventually you get to a point where you can unlock all of the you know all the buildings that you want to build but you've also you know got access to all those edicts which you know can make a massive difference especially later on when you know if you're trying to you know win over say like the, the religious faction you know you've kind of got two options there instead of just one or none uh, mm. so yeah it's, it's quite it's really handy mm. Yeah, certainly. It, it does keep it like interesting, so you're not just like straight out the gates, unlock everything. Because <laughs> I sort of, whenever I uh, play this, I uh, tend to just turn everything on. <laughs> I mean, I'm not the most strategic player, I will <laughs> admit. Uh, I just like free houses, free food for everyone, for social security, just <laughs> have everything. <laughs> Live, my people, live, be free. <laughs> I've been wondering why everyone's mad later. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because like, I've not savoured anything. <laughs> like, or like, I just go for the opposite approach where I'm just like, ban everything. Every, like, they're, like, they're literally all evil people. And then just like, yeah. And then, and then afterwards I'm like, yeah, why, are they why are they rebelling against me now? I don't know. Sam's a bad influence, so they can be evil now. Yep, pretty much. That's what we're doing. <laughs> What we're doing. Yep. This is how I play. You're evil. Now we've got some people that should be arriving. Yeah, why not? Remember, Uncle Pedro wants you. And only you. <laughs> <laughs> not in a weird, creepy way. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Let's have that. Yeah, let's have some military modernization whilst we're at it. Yeah. Just all the army things. Yeah, let's do it. Beautiful, serene, little balloon moving away yep. from your viciously controlled island with inscription and martial law in place. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay, cool. So we're going to stop it there. All right. So thank you very much for watching, and please follow our social media channels and website for further news regarding Tropico for iPhone, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.